Okay, what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to show you a nice little product called SRAM's Pit Stop Bike Cleaner. And this is the bike, you've seen it before, my Tiax Elite, that I'm going to test it on. I just got back from riding at Green River Lake State Park near Campbellsville, Kentucky. And you're going to get to watch me wash this bike. If you're somebody who really loves their bikes and likes to keep them in tip-top shape, which some people have seen these videos and even commented my bikes look too clean, but I take that as a compliment. If you like keeping your bikes spotless, this product is a great, great product for that. Let's see if I can get that in front of the camera for you. SRAM Pit Stop Bike Cleaner. This is a awesome product for cleaning. Now you get to see the step-by-step -step process of washing a bike. First take your just completely dirty bike, just give it a light spray down of the SRAM pit stop. Spray it everywhere. It, this is safe on disc rotors, disc pads, tires, everything. It's a built-in degreaser, so just go crazy with it. Once you have that on, what you need to do is, I have a multitude of different brushes, and I have a generic auto cleaner here that I use for my brushes, because the SRAM Pit Stop Cleaner is a little expensive at $8 a bottle at a good buy. Some places sell it for up to 10 or $12 per bottle, and that will wash about 10 bikes. Maybe, maybe 12 to 15 if you go light, but I use just a regular automotive cleaner, and I have a large brush for your frame, a smaller brush for your drivetrain, and then I have this heavy duty scrubbing brush for the tires, which is where I'm going to start. Then I move on to the frame and fork. The beauty of that SRAM pit stop cleaner is that it actually degreases, so you do not have to scrub hard, just lightly. Just enough to go over it and break up the dirt. But as you see, I'm not being really, really detailed about it, because you don't have to be. This can cut your cleaning time tremendously because you don't have to nitpick everything and I do use different brushes for different places in the tight reach areas and the drivetrain I use a swivel brush you can get into the bottom bracket area really well with a small brush with stiff bristles Trailer there. Get the chain to scrub. I also have a chain machine, chain cleaning machine from Finish Line, but in this case I'm going to show you as if you did not have one. You can quickly take this drivetrain brush and now the chain's clean. I have a little mitt. But again, I'll go over the frame. It's a nice soft mitt, doesn't scratch. Go over the frame in large areas to get them especially polished up. And then between the ceram pit stop cleaner and the scrubbing, both products have made it to where now all it takes is just a light rinsing. Always use a light setting on your hose. Never use a power washer, a pressure washer, because there are a lot of seals on a bike. 
You don't want to penetrate water into the seals of your fork, your hubs, your headset. You don't want to get too much water penetrating into your derailleur bushings, your bottom bracket. So just use a light mitt.